we're back out at the beaver pond here. Farmers in the field, so I'm gonna pull everything today so I don't have to drive across their crop. I gotta come in about three quarters of a mile on a quad or truck, depends on what's going on there, but uh, working both sides of this creek, just harrowing them right now. They're gonna probably seed right away. So like I said, I'm just gonna pull all the sets. We're gonna come up to the first one here. Let's take a look. This is where we caught the small beaver. Doesn't look like there's any other activity here. Just looking across the pond, my other two sets. Nothing in those ones. And this one here is stagnant as well. And then we got the one of the crossover over there. Kind of wish I would have put a string to it, to the ribbon, and when it gets caught and it pulls down, then the ribbon, ribbon moves, but that way it saves me a trip, but I'm pulling them anyways. And no real activity here that I could see at the beaver dam. The water level's down compared to last year. So hopefully it keeps weeping through. The poor ducks might run out of water, but the landowner will be happy not to have to deal with going around wet spots and stuff like that in the field. Anyways, I'll pull this and then head off to the other side. Love the sound of ducks and birds and stuff like that. I like looking around too. Lots of moose sign here. They leave these little fiber balls everywhere. Not too bad. That's it. Too bad to eat. It gives you your fiber. It's gone through once there, so it's pretty healthy for you. And here's a another batch, a little bit fresher. But the moose must like to bed in here in the in the fall and in the winter eating all these alders and stuff like that. These aren't too bad tasting, just uh, it's nice when they're a little bit fresh. If they're too dry, they get woody, but these ones are pretty good. Pretty good for your fiber intake. I don't want to have too many because they'll make you sick, but just a couple. We're going to walk past these first couple of sets because I could see from the other side there was nothing there. I'm going to go to our dam, cross over, see what we got there. All right. Find a good trail here. There we go. Well, got a little bit more to go here. I'll turn you on once I get there. Just walking up. Don't know if I got anything yet, but I can smell caster. And yep, looks so like we got one. Guess I had the camera facing the other way as I was walking up. But one more, last one for till the fall. Maybe I'll come back. Doesn't look like there's any more dams, or sorry, any more houses that way, just maybe a dam. And they're just living in here. Okay, well, don't have Brandy here today. She had a knee surgery the other day. So we got a video, just a little uh, medium sized one here. Nice neck catch. Would have been going, going down, looks like, from the house side. Anyways, we got a few out of here. I'll pull this one out and then we'll grab the other sets and maybe I'll talk to you back at the quad there before we head back. All right, catch you in a bit here. Okay, maybe I won't uh, video it until we get back to the the pond there but something came and ate my beaver and just kind of looking it over here seeing if it's a female with some nipples but there's some bite marks here so i'm thinking another beaver came 
try to bite it, encourage it to go. And uh, yeah, on this side here, oh, this is probably a mink or something underwater eating that. So we'll bring it back and see what we can do. Probably use it for bait or something. Might rough skin it and see how the holes look. We always pull the caster out too. So there's a mink here probably and another beaver. But we'll catch them in the fall. Huh. Look at that. Look about three meters of intestine there. And another bunch here from when I drug that beaver out. Didn't know I was leaving stuff behind. Anyways, then we got her back to the quad here. Got the other traps here. Gonna put them in the bag and then head home and take a look at this one. You got the caster out and decide what I'm gonna do with it. Look it over a little bit better. Anyways, beautiful day. A lot better than it was the other day with the wind blowing. And still a little bit of a breeze. I don't know if you can hear it. That's why I'm holding it close. And you're almost looking up my nose, but that, uh, that's to help with the wind. Like I mentioned before, the farmer's working up the field, so it's time for me to move on. We'll come back later on in the, in the fall and see what's going on. Just want to thank the landowner for the opportunity and, uh, reach out to them let them know i'm done and that i took a few beavers out for them and hopefully i can come back they sound pretty interested other for me to come back for other years so i hope it's a long-term thing for us all right talk to you guys later